At 61, Demi Moore bravely embraced full frontal nudity in her latest film, The Substance, describing the experience as profoundly vulnerable. During a press conference at the Cannes Film Festival, Moore elaborated on the complexities and emotional depth involved in filming such scenes. She emphasized the vital role of her co-star, Margaret Qualley, in making the process feel safe and comfortable. I had someone who was a great partner who I felt very safe with, Moore shared, crediting Qualley for providing the necessary support and levity during the intimate moments on set. The actress stressed the importance of trust and open communication in navigating the challenges of such exposure. The Substance, directed by Coralie Fargeet, tells the story of Elizabeth Sparkle, a fading celebrity who turns to a black market drug in a desperate bid to rejuvenate her career by creating a younger version of herself, portrayed by Qualley. As Moore's character undergoes this transformation, she is forced to confront her naked self, a powerful narrative device that serves to underscore the film's exploration of identity and self-perception. However, the experiment goes awry, leading to disturbing consequences as Sparkle becomes increasingly disfigured by her younger alter ego's actions. Moore described the harrowing process of donning prosthetics to depict her character's grotesque evolution, likening the experience to Angelica Houston's transformation in the 1990 film The Witches. Despite the unsettling appearance, Moore found solace in her dog recognizing her, providing a comforting touchstone amid the surreal filming process. The film's premiere at Cannes was met with an extraordinary 11-minute standing ovation, signaling a triumphant reception. Moore expressed her astonishment and gratitude for the overwhelming response, highlighting the emotional and physical demands of her role. Reflecting on her extensive career, Moore acknowledged her past experiences with on-screen nudity, notably in The Scarlet Letter, 1995, and Striptease, 1996. The latter film, which cast her as a former FBI secretary turned stripper, earned her a then record-breaking salary of $12.5 million, making her the highest paid actress of the time. Despite its commercial failure and critical derision, Striptease remains a significant marker in Moore's career, illustrating her willingness to take bold, unconventional roles. Moore also touched upon her early fame as a member of the Brat Pack, a term coined in the 1980s to describe a group of young Hollywood actors who dominated the screen during that era. She expressed mixed feelings about the label, noting that while it diminished their professionalism, it ultimately did not define her. For me, I didn't love it, being thought of as a brat because I thought it kind of diminished us as professionals, she told Good Morning America, as quoted by People magazine. But I didn't carry it. Moore's presence at Cannes, alongside director Coralie Fargeet and co-star Margaret Qualley, highlighted her ongoing commitment to challenging and transformative roles. The substance stands as a testament to her enduring talent and her ability to navigate complex, emotionally charged performances, continuing to captivate audiences and critics alike.